This video runs through the AOC Q2770 PQU's OSD on-screen display menu system. Those of you who have seen our previous OSD videos will know that we don't usually give a voice commentary, but we've had feedback from some users saying that they find that quite helpful. So it's not something I'm very experienced with, but uh, and I find it quite difficult to actually show enthusiasm towards a monitor's menu system, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So the menu is controlled by these little pressable buttons on the underside of the bottom monitor bezel here. So they're not touch sensitive, you can see they're actually, well you could see if my camera's macro was working properly, you can actually press them which is good for some users because they really hate touch sensitive buttons. The first button there controls the input of the monitor. So we've got DP or display port selected there because that's what we're using at the moment. The second button along controls the clear vision system which is one of AOC's sharpness filters, sharpness enhancement filters which basically just increases the level of sharpness. Um, it's something I like to leave off for the sake of an accurate image. The third button along allows you to adjust the volume of the 2 watt stereo speakers built into the monitor. The fourth button along, which is the main button you'll be focusing on, allows you to access the main menu which is laid out in AOC's usual sort of widescreen style making good use of the horizontal space of the monitor and again you navigate through the OSD using these uh, these buttons here you see these middle ones minus and plus it allows you to go up and down in the menu system the auto button there is basically a back button or return button and the menu system acts as an enter button So the first bit of the menu is called luminance and it allows you to change the contrast and the brightness of the monitor. Mm -hmm. It also allows you to select an eco mode which is the name that AOC give to their presets and I say presets but I use that term quite loosely because all this actually does is just adjust the brightness of the monitor to various preset values. There's also a, you can select one of three gamma modes, which are discussed in the calibration section of the review. There's a DCR, dynamic contrast ratio, that allows you to activate the dynamic contrast ratio feature of the monitor. Again, that's something that we'll uh, discuss later in the review. And there's the pixel overdrive feature, which allows you to change how much grey to grey acceleration the monitor is using. Again, that's something that we're going to discuss later on. The next section of the menu, Colour Setup, allows you to do just that, set up the colours of the monitor. So you can select a preset colour temperature, or alternatively you can set that to User, and that allows you to access these individual colour channels for red, green and blue here. There's DCB mode which is dynamic colour boost and what that does is it allows you to selectively oversaturate certain certain colours on the screen. For example na nature skin I think it oversaturates pink tones and reds, green field which makes green stand out more sky blue which does the same with blues and once again that's something that I'd leave off for the sake of accuracy but some users do like that effect so feel free to experiment with that you can also look at the difference that the uh, extra saturation actually makes with the DCB mode demo feature so the left side of the screen I think the left side of the screen is, yeah, the left side of the screen is using the extra saturation and the right side of the screen just has the normal monitor settings. 
without the DCB. Next up is Picture Boost, which basically allows you to control this feature called Bright Frame, which is something we've looked at in previous AOC monitor reviews. And this allows you to select a portion of the screen which has its brightness and its contrast levels altered independently of the rest of the screen. So you can see at the top here there's this light patch which has its brightness set higher and its contrast set differently to the rest of the screen. You can obviously adjust the size of that frame and also adjust the position of the frame on the screen if you want. The OSD setup menu allows you to change the language of the OSD system, which unfortunately speaking different languages is not one of my many talents, so I'm going to leave that on English for now. You can change the timeout of the monitor OSD, which is set in minutes, and you can change that between I think 10 seconds is the lowest, which it's set on by default. And obviously, I'd, uh, you can set that to 5 seconds if you like. Um, but you have to be very, very quick if you're going to be setting it to 5 seconds. I set that to 2 minutes so I could actually run you through the uh, features of the OSD without the OSD disappearing all the time. You can change where on the screen the OSD appears horizontally and vertically. You can change the transparency of the OSD and you can also set a break reminder which isn't a feature I've actually used so I'm not sure exactly how that works. The extra menu is basically all the remaining settings so you can manually select the input or you can have the monitor automatically select that for you. You can set an off timer which is a time in hours after which the screen will automatically go on standby. If you do if you do set the off timer, it'll give you a reminder ten minutes before the screen's actually going to turn off as well, so it won't just randomly turn off uh, once you've forgotten that you've actually used the uh, off timer in the first place, which is useful. This basically allows you DDC slash CI. It's basically plug and play functionality for the monitor so you want to leave that set to yes unless you've got some strange uh, setup which has some compatibility issues with that and of course you can reset all of the settings to default if you happen to have messed something up and as usual there's just a little a little reminder here of the resolution you're running and the horizontal and vertical refresh rate you're using just in case you've forgotten so there you have it, the OSD system of the AOC Q2770PQU.